So we're at the Starfire facility, which is the training center and where we play our games for the Seattle Women's Sounders team. We have a game today at 1 o'clock, but right now we're doing a little bit of media prior to the game. Um, you know, I came back to Seattle to really help kind of just launch women's soccer here in a city that I love. So a lot of my obligations when I come back to Seattle is to get people excited about the game, and I think we've succeeded quite well at that. In a, in a, in a high-profile, high-pressure, multi-game tournament like you're heading into in the Olympics, what's your most important job as a goal? Just focusing on myself. Japan's good, Brazil's good. Teams are going to get through our defense, so I have to accept that it's going to break through, and at the end of the day, if my positioning's right, you know, if my footwork, if everything's right on my half, I'll make the save. At the end of the day, I think for today, it's all going to be about us and what we do, and not so much about them, even though we're going to talk about it, but um, we got to we got to play well today. We haven't had a good 90 minutes yet. I think today would be a great day to kind of put it put it all together with the two goals left. So. Cool. All right, let's go. Let's go. If you live in the Northwest, you know how many kids play soccer, you see how many club teams there are, and, and you see the passion behind the sport. So, of course, there should be a women's team, but it takes steps and the first step is to really promote this second division team which is you know the women Seattle Sounders um, at a smaller level but in hopes that it grows and grows and grows and grows. And now your Sounders women starting lineup in goal number one Hope Solo. We didn't win the World Cup. We weren't at that time we weren't posing nude on ESPN, we weren't doing dance shows, we weren't doing anything. The product itself on the field sold. It sold in our country and it sold on a global stage because we women were playing fiercely, intense, with passion and beautiful soccer. So that alone gained respect. But the World Cup's every four years, Olympics every four years. So what do you do year to year? You have to keep in people's minds day in and day out. And the only way to do that is to go mainstream. And you continue to be on ESPN, you continue to do you know, a dance show where there's millions of viewers and now all of a sudden the audience expands and now I have 60 year old women saying, oh, I knew you from Dancing with the Stars but now I'm so excited to watch you in the Olympics. It's broadening our fan base, which for the longevity of the sport, we have to do. Keep in mind we have a little off time in between camps in preparation for London and my national team teammates, a handful of them, want to come all the way to Seattle, live here in their off time in the five days we have off, live here, train here and play here. There's a reason for that and you know you have to have gratitude to the Seattle Sounders because they're giving us reps, they're giving us practice to prepare ourselves for London but also seeing my teammates. So it, it constantly keeps you fresh and thinking and sharp, but it's all in preparation for Lennon. We're helping the Seattle team, but at the end of the day, what's gonna help the sport the most? We all know it. It's putting a product together, a beautiful product in London together, and it's bringing home the gold medal as well.